Cindy out here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I'm doing okay. I uh, had a funky appointment this morning with an eye doctor. And let me tell you, they poked and prodded and, and did things to my eyes that they've never done before. But, uh, you know, I can still see, so that's a good thing. Um, today we're here to talk about our Chronic Paint ABCs. I just love this. Isn't this so cool? I have so much fun playing with this. I know the noise the noise can annoy some people, but I absolutely love it. I got one tied around here. There we go. So we're going to talk about our ABCs. And let's see what letter we are on. We are on uh, the letter L. Okay, so let's set this aside. All right, so we've got our good side, our bad side. I pulled out some stuff here, just some randomness. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I pulled it out. So let's see, our letter L. What do we have for bad words? And remember, I just call them bad words because it's, you know, they're the most, the most hurtful, I think, words. And... The first word in every single one of you are going to be shaking your head saying, yep, Cindy, you hit it right on the head. And that is lonely, right? Yeah. Chronic pain has the tendency to isolate us because when you're in a lot of pain, A, you're not in the mood to talk to people. B, you're not in the mood to be social. C, you don't feel like getting up, getting in the car and going somewhere to be social. And you it tends to isolate us so when it isolates us what happens when you're alone for so long you're gonna get lonely and you know that's just that's part of the beast I can't um, say it any better than that um, you know when when we don't socialize and we don't get out because either we can't or we're physically or emotionally um, mentally not able to handle the social interaction and trust me I have days don't get me wrong I actually have weeks where I just don't want to talk to anybody <laughs> I mean it's not that um, you know we're snobs or whatever it's just the the pain the pain can wear on you I know it can I've been there done that I get it I understand it um, my husband understands it as well and you know he to a certain extent he'll let me just live live it but there comes a point where he's just like no you need to get up you need to take a shower you need to get dressed and we're going out for lunch and you know sometimes I say okay yeah I'll do it other times I'm like yeah that's not happening and it really helps to have that support system around to either kick you in the butt and get you moving or to say okay I understand you know I'll go get something different for dinner for us to have tonight or you know just just that support somebody to come in and and lay down and binge watch Netflix with you you know for a day because you just can't you just can't do it you can't do the social interaction and like I said, it's it's wonderful to have that support. Not everybody has it. Um, and I feel really bad for those that don't because that just kind of makes me sad. Um, but yeah, that that is my main word is lonely. I'm going to put some paint on here. Let's get some paint out. It's funny, my husband came in last night. I was playing around in here and he comes in and he stuck his finger in the paint. <laughs> he says to me, he goes, do you know you have wet paint on there? I'm like, yeah, honey, it's my palette. Oh, <laughs> I just had to laugh because it was just funny. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know it's on there. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, lonely. It's huge. It's, it's a huge, huge issue when you have chronic pain. It doesn't get easier. Um, I have to tell you, um, since I started doing the YouTube videos, I have made some very, very dear friends on here, um, basically from all over the uh, country, and 
it has been just an absolute huge um, help for me to deal with that, you know, uh, loneliness. You know, if my husband's out working on the yard all day, you know, here I am in the house, and it's like, really? But, um, so, you know, a lot of people, well, I can't say this, some people um, are really upset about the Internet. Oh, you know, it's causing everybody not to be social, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm sorry. It's my savior for being social because with the Internet, I, I can reach out to people and I've got some friends out there I can say hey I'm having a really bad day I need to talk and they're right there for me so you know don't forget to use the 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 social um, part of the internet to help you when it comes to that spot you know when you get to that place where you're lonely all right that's one of the words that I wanted to use another one was I wrote it down, but I'm I'm not going to say it right, is listlessness, meaning there are times when, uh, how can I explain it? I wake up, I just feel numb, just plain numb, and I got to turn another light on here, it's awful dark, um, it's not supposed to rain, I don't think, but yeah, I, I feel just kind of numb. You just kind of want to lay and just do nothing. <laughs> and, you know, again, I think it goes back to the fact that, you know, mentally we can handle so much pain and there comes to a spot where our brains just pretty much have to shut down. And I think that's for our own safety as well as it is for our own sanity. Um, because without that, you know, how are we going to make it through it? How are we going to be able to process those feelings? Um, now I've got some washi tape here. What I've done basically is this is a little bit of drywall tape you can buy in any of your local hardware stores. Um, this was a piece of um, paper that came out of a flow magazine and I apologize. I'll be right back. Urgh, telemarketers, I don't like telemarketers. <laughs> All right. So this is actually um, a piece of paper that came out of Flow, um, 19 Days of Mindfulness. So it's kind of like a, just a, you know, like almost like a newspaper type paper. Um, I put that down. I used a little bit of this neon paint. This came from Tuesday morning. Uh, it's a neon acrylic. I got the blue and the yellow. And um, this is a Dina Wakely washi tape that I used. Again, the drywall. And now I've got this washi tape, and what it has is it has a bunch of faces on it. So because this is our quote unquote bad side, I am going to pull out the, um, not so great faces. Let's see. This one looks like he's in pain. So we're going to stick him on here. Uh, this one is sleeping. This one's crying. Oops. Let's stick it right here. I just thought this would be a neat place to use these little faces. And I'm going to continue doing that with some of them. So we're talking about listlessness. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's, it's a real thing. It's, you know, you just feel awful. You just feel numb and just bleh. Okay. Um, it happens. What I do or what I've been trying to do is I tell myself, okay, what would I say to my best friend? If my best friend called me up and said, oh my God, I've just, you know, all right, take it easy, rest. Why don't you chill out, watch some Netflix, you know, maybe write in your journal if it makes you feel better. That's what I would be telling my friend to do, right? So why don't we tell ourselves to do that? Why don't we say to ourselves, it's okay, I'm having a bad day, you know, uh, hopefully tomorrow will be better, so I'm just going to binge watch Netflix, I'm going to chill out. Why don't we do that? Good question, I don't know. We always tend to beat ourselves up so much that we feel guilty if we have a bad day, 
or we feel guilty if you know we spend the day laying on the couch watching Netflix you know laying there on an ice bag why should I feel guilty about that it's not my fault I didn't choose this disease this disease chose me so I don't know where to put this guy well, that's, he's right there now we'll stick him over here so you know why why am I feeling guilty why do I feel you know um, when I have those days that I have to you know be that way why do I feel guilty I don't know I think it's just all part of our emotions I have this polar bear here I thought he was kind of cool and I don't know why he just reminded me of loneliness so I'm gonna put him here but before I do that I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling here so we've got loneliness we've got listlessness the other one that I have is let down um, it's really really difficult when I want to make plans to go do something um, here a while back um, I had made plans to go out to um, it was a, a, a restaurant that had some live music and it was country music which I love and that day I was in so much pain that I had to call my friends and say you know what I'm really sorry but I can't go tonight and it's so difficult because it's such a huge letdown not only for me but for them as well and it's hard it's really really hard okay so we have lonely list listness is the easiest way I can say it let's put it over here and I'm gonna put down let down and the biggest one I have to say is the lonely and the reason I say that's the biggest one is because it is it's it's very difficult it's hard to you know feel like you can um, be a productive member in society and then you just you know you realize you're not and it gets lonely um, I've I've got to the point where you know my husband has to go and do things whether it be uh, mow the lawn or whatever right so I've got to the point where if he's been outside a lot working and you know I only see him basically you know lunch and dinner um, I will say to him you know I need a little I need a little you time and he's like okay what do we you know what do we need to do and it's not that he doesn't care and it's not that he doesn't understand and it's not that he doesn't pay attention to me when he can it's the fact that sometimes I think people in that are not in our situations don't understand that being alone for such a long period of time um, it really wears on you it, it really mentally and not only mentally but physically as well wears on you because you end up with that just that feeling of you know I'm all alone in this world uh, when you're laying there in bed and you just feel muscle spasm after muscle spasm it's like uh, it's it's hard not to feel lonely but um, the one thing I can say is please remember you are not the only one going through these problems unfortunately there are a ton of people in our country um, and even around the world that are going through the chronic pain and they have to deal with it same as we do oops see I always do that that's all right I'm not worried so yeah those are my three L's that I can think of right now um, I love it when you guys Show, share with me your your letters um, because a lot of times when I'm doing these I'm just thinking right then and there um, I do have a few written down just as they come to mind I'll write them down but there's ones that you guys bring up that absolutely are definitely um, part of this whole chronic pain journey so I love it I love it when you guys share with me so keep it up all right, so there's our L. Like I said, lonely, listlessness, and letdown. Now we're going to turn it over, and we're going to do our good words. Now, what do we do? 
What do we do when we're lonely? All right, well, the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna let somebody know, right? So we're going to listen and we're going to let people know. Here's another thing from, oh, this was a thing of, um, oh, I can't find my words. Thank you, Fibro. Um, uh, stickers, these were stickers. This was a pamphlet that came in a thing of stickers that I had purchased. I'm not sure if I want this. Um, no, I don't really want that. Let's go with these. So, all right. So let's talk about our, our L words for happy. Um, like I said, uh, when you're lonely, you've got to tell somebody. You've got to, you, you need to get somebody that will listen and you need to explain to them what's going on and you need to let them help you, okay? Um, even if it gets to the point where you're like, you know, I just, I, I just need somebody just to sit there with me, okay? Just let somebody know, tell somebody. If you don't tell them, they don't know. And you know, I'll hear people say, well, they, you know, he should know. Well, no, he shouldn't. He's not living in your journey. This is your journey and yours alone. So you have to let people know how you're feeling. Um, another thing you need to do is listen to your body. When you you know when you're starting to feel antsy or starting to feel depressed or starting to feel anxious or feeling lonely, you know, you know those times. And right now my back is killing me. Ouch. Um, I might have to get up and move. Um, but yeah, you, you have to let others know and you have to allow them to be able to help you, right? Now, we talked about letdowns. You know, even with the letdown of not being able to go and do, another word, we still have to live, right? Because... You know, maybe we can't go this week, but you know what? Maybe there's going to be a good band that's coming in next week. So how about we go next week or the week after that or the week after that? You know, it doesn't, don't give up because you do have better days. You do have, um, you know, better moments when you can. i got to find some, got some other washi tape here. Let's cut this off. So don't give up, you know. Um, and another thing is listen. You need to listen to your body. You need to listen to those thoughts. You know, when you start getting anxious or depressed, reach out to somebody. Um, and it doesn't matter. They can be somebody, you know, on the internet that's going through the same thing as you are. You know, I know there's a lot of people, well, I'm not telling my personal information out there. Okay, you don't have to. But I'll be honest with you, I have made some really, really, really great friends via the internet. And I would miss them dearly, you know, did I not speak to them anymore. And they're a huge part of my life at this point, so I have to listen. I need to dry this real quick. I know it's only glue stick, but it's sticky, so I'll be right back. All right, so I decided I'm going to use some paint on here. This has got little lime green dots, so I'm going to put a little bit of this neon green and a little bit of the neon yellow because I can all right so like I said we have to listen we have to live don't you know don't just because you can't go this week doesn't mean you can't ever go again we have to learn we have to learn what our body is doing, why it's doing it, when it's doing it, okay? And if you don't learn about your body and about the triggers and the signs and the what's overdoing it and what's not overdoing it, if you don't learn that, then you're going to have a really, really hard time dealing with the chronic pain. Let me just dry this.
Let me give you an example. Um, I'm going to use my day as an example. Now this morning, um, when I got up, um, my husband and I had decided we were going to go down to a local um, hardware store here. You guys all know them. It's one of the big name brand ones. Because we wanted to pick up some things for the house. We're going to be, you know, replacing some of the light fixtures and ceiling fans and flooring and that kind of stuff. So we decided to go there. So we got up this morning and we went down there. Um, I decided I wanted to walk it. Um, I have a couple different options. I could use a wheelchair. Um, we have a wheelchair in the car or I have what I call my scoot and do, which is like a little motorized um, scooter, basically. So, and I said to my husband, I said, you know what, I, I want to walk it. And the reason I wanted to walk it is because A, I want the exercise and B, my back felt pretty good this morning. It wasn't, you know, the pain's never gone. It's, it's always there, but it felt kind of good. So I said, you know what, I'm going to walk it. So we went into this store and we did the things we needed to do. We looked at things and purchased things and whatever. And then after that, I said, okay, I said, my back is killing me from walking on this cement floor. I said, um, we need to go get some breakfast. So of course we went and got breakfast, that kind of thing. All right. So then it's time for me to go to my appointment, which, um, you know, I talked about in the beginning, I had an eye doctor's appointment this morning. So we go to that. And after that appointment, in my mind, I had plans. Oh, I wanted to go to the Verizon wireless store. I wanted to go down to Belk, get my hubby some jeans. I wanted to do, you know, all this kind of stuff, right? <laughs> we got in the vehicle and I said, you know what? He says, what? I said, I'm going home. He's like, okay. And the reason I had to go home is because my back was done. My back was tired um, and I was starting to hurt. My left leg was starting to drag again, which it does quite often. Um, but you know, I had to listen to my body because if I didn't listen, oh, I could have kept going. And then you know what? For the next three days, I wouldn't have been able to move. So when I talk about listening to your body, you know, would I have loved to go and do all that other stuff today? Absolutely. You know, my husband and I enjoy, enjoy spending time together and, you know, there's other things that we need to get done. It's, it's, you know, stuff we have to get done. It just didn't get done today because I cannot physically do it all in one day. So you know what? Um, tomorrow I have another appointment. I will go to that in the morning and then I'm just going to take the day off tomorrow. Because if I don't, again, I'm not going to be able to do more on another day. So it's all part of learning. Again, your L word, learning. Where's that other? Oh, there, there it is. Do right in front of me. Um, it's all about learning. It's all about listening. It's all about living. Um, and, you know, looking for the help. You have to get the help. It's not just going to show up to you. You know, if, if you need someone to talk to, you know, find out who you can go to to talk to. You know, you have to take care of you. And if you don't take care of you, nobody else is going to. So that's my take on the L words. I'm still not sure where I'm going with this part of the tag, but we're going to go somewhere with it. I just kind of like it. I like it. So yeah, um, it's, it's huge when you have to listen to your body, you know, it's, it's, it's all part of the chronic pain journey. And like I said, if you don't listen and you don't live and you don't learn, you know, you're, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a lot tougher on you than it already is. So, you know, don't forget to, um, you know, see who can help you out there. Talk to people. Listen to advice. You know, just like I said, you know, you can't, if you can't do everything in one day, you have to listen to your body. And I have a feeling this is not going to do what I want it to do, but I'm going to try sticking it back down. I want it right there. No.
Close enough. Close enough. All right, I need to find something to put on this page. So what are we going to put on here? Um, so look at her. She's cute. Um, I don't have a whole lot in this drawer. That's kind of cool. Oh, I like that. We'll choose that. This is out of a um, an old magazine that I had. I like that. And then we're going to put our words in there. So let's put this on here. Do some blue. And then we're going to do our words and we're going to put them in here. In our bucket. Or in this case, in our glass jar. Not pretty. Such a pretty jar. Candy dish. Right? Okay, let me get out my um, label maker and we're going to get our words typed up and I will be right back. Alright, so I got these. Um, these I made on my Dymo. You guys have seen this before, Dymo Letra Tag. It's just a little label maker. Um, my husband had it in his shop when he had a, a um, firearm shop. So. All right, so the first word we're going to put on here, and this looks like it has a, I didn't realize it had a white, kind of a white background to it, but that's okay. We're going to put in here, listen, because remember, we've got to listen. We have to learn. We have to learn what our signs are, and we have to learn when to say enough is enough. And, you know, sometimes it's really hard. I would have loved to finish getting stuff done today that we needed to get done, but it just didn't happen. So we have to listen. We have to learn. <laughs> this one's a good one. I, I, I like this because, you know, sometimes I have to do this instead of crying, and that is you got to laugh because sometimes if you don't, you will cry. So laugh is a good one. Um, I know on the back I, I talked about being lonely, and... The, the word, um, actually I need one more word. The word I had for lonely is um, to love. Let's print that one. And the reason I did love is because, you know, when if you have that special someone or that companion or, a, you know, a good friend, you know, you love them now, so love them enough to let them know that you're lonely and you need company and that you need to have time with them. Because sometimes, you know, everybody gets so busy in their own lives, it's not that they don't think about you, it's that they don't, maybe they don't realize that, hey, you know, I need some time. I need some, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. I need to, you know, I need a big hug. I need to be snuggled. I need whatever. You know, I need to sit on the couch and watch a movie with you. Whatever the case may be, love them enough. You already love them enough. Just let them know that that's what you need. All right. So there's my words, our L words. Let me take, of course, I've got to have a pen. Let's see if this one works. I just want some dots. You know we have to have dots. I hear a birdie singing outside my window. So, um, I think I'm just going to finish this one up here. And then, you know, like I say, definitely, I love the fact that you guys are giving me your own words and what, you know, helps you in your journey or where you're at in your journey or, you know, what words you think work for you and I think that's fantastic um, I absolutely love it I enjoy reading the comments I enjoy um, you know listening to your stories so anytime you want to share you know if if you don't want to share publicly on the YouTube channel or on my you know uh, the comments there you can always message me um, 
I'm here. I'll be glad to talk to anyone. I know there's several of you that have contacted me privately, and I, you know, I'm here. I'm always here for you. So anytime you want to chat, just give me a holler. So, all right, I think I am done with my, oh, we got to get our fibers. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I got some new fibers over the weekend. I was at my friend's house and we went into this, um, it's called Scrap Exchange. And I wasn't, I was only there for a couple days, but we went into this and I found this little thing of, um, string. It cost me a dollar. So I got this. That's garbage. I'm taking this off here. All right. So I got this thing of string and I thought it was really cool because I thought, you know, I can use that on my tags. So let's just take some of this string. And we're just going to put it through like we always do. We're going to stick it through our hole. I have one more piece. Come on. You can go in there. Hold on. Maybe, maybe not. Let's do it this way. I can get it in this way. There we go. All right, so there's one more. So and I'm just going to pull it through a knot. There we go. And then I'll cut the ends. The scissors are getting old. All right, there we are. I love it. We have our lonely little polar bear. Look, he's got some blue on him from paint off my desk. That's okay. Our lonely little um, polar bear here. We got our sad faces. We also have our listlessness and we have our letdown. And then on the front side, we have listen, love, laugh, learn, and live. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, comment, like, share, subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up. And... Um, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.